What's up stupid idiots, my name's TC and today we're going to be talking about the top 7 wrestlers that WWE needs to bring up to the main roster right now. And we've all seen Raw and Smackdown and we've seen how slim and depleted those rosters are and in desperate need of an injection of excitement. So I put together a list of 7 guys from around the world and even some from within the developmental system NXT that need to be a part of the main roster right now. So let's go ahead and get into number 7. Samoa, Samoa Joe. <laughs> that's not his theme song, but that's what it sounds like. Anyway, so number seven, I chose Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe just has this type of intensity that I can't describe. Um, I don't think anyone else on the WWE main roster right now has this sort of intensity other than Brock Lesnar. He has been one of NXT's top talents and top heels for a while now. He had a great feud with Finn Balor, he just had a great feud with Shinsuke Nakamura, and it's, it's time WWE. It's time to bring this guy up, it's time to form some type of faction. From um, If you guys haven't checked out my 10 Reasons Why We Hate Roman Reigns video, I'll leave the card up there. But I suggested a Samoan squad, a Samoan faction, where you have Roman Reigns the leader, you bring in Samoa Joe as like an extra enforcer, and you bring in Nia Jax, you know, to be part of like the Samoan squad, and they just will dominate, and they just rule the WWE. Not to mention, Joe's promos are really good, and definitely deserving, and probably a lot better than a lot of people on the main roster right now. And so Samoa Joe is definitely, it's time, it is time for him to come to the main roster and show everybody what he can do. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into number six. So number six, I'm going with Shinsuke Nakamura. And this is me, you know, air violining, but Shinsuke Nakamura would be an awesome addition to the main roster. He has this charisma that can be explained. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a Michael Jackson Prince type charisma. And he has his own character and it's worked in Japan, it's working now in NXT. And this, I feel like he doesn't even need to be in NXT right now. He needs to be brought up to the main roster and show the world what he can do. Not to mention, he could be probably one of the best Asian wrestlers we've ever had on the WWE main roster ever. I mean, over Taka Michinoku, over Funaki, over Yoshitatsu, like he would definitely just step right in and become the best immediately. I hope WWE doesn't make the mistake that they made with Finn Balor in keeping him in NXT for too long. I think it's time. It's time he needs to come up and um, it should have happened like yesterday. Let's go ahead and get into number five. E C three. EC three is my number five. Ethan Carter the third needs to be in WWE and I don't want him to debut with like a teaser promo package like look who's coming to Smackdown or look who's coming to Raw what they tried to do with Shelton Benjamin no EC3 don't you miss the days of when you're just watching a Raw and Smackdown and you just see the crowd explode you see them all stand up on their feet because a superstar is coming to the ring he delivers his finishing move and then he just he just dips he leaves the arena and the crowd is going crazy. That's the kind of debut I think should happen with one of these superstars. I'm, I'm tired of the, the no hype promo package where everyone's already already knows what's gonna go on. They're not surprised at all. They're like, oh great, Shelton Benjamin's gonna be on SmackDown. Cool. I can see this for EC3, him coming in, delivering his finishing move, and you know, just hightailing it out of there. Now props to Ethan Carter for developing a persona and TNA. And you know, they might have to change his name because you know, Carter is a little close to Dixie Carter. And I don't care, call him like Ethan Cartwright the third. Like he can still keep, I want him to keep that EC3 persona because that entitled, you know, just persona works so well for him. But anyway, Ethan Carter the third definitely would be a great injection of excitement into the WWE roster. And let's go ahead and get into number four. Na, 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 na. Jeff Hardy needs to come back to the WWE. You know, these rosters look so, you know, dull, and he would definitely bring a ton of excitement with him. Uh, the WWE needs him. 
WWE misses Jeff Hardy. The audiences miss Jeff Hardy. They miss those, you know, those glowing wristbands that he has or whatever, and the face paint. He himself is a theatrical production. We miss the high flying daredevil. We miss Jeff Hardy. And coming in immediately, I can see some great matches with Seth Rollins, AJ Styles. Imagine that, guys, a Jeff Hardy, Seth Rollins match. And it would just be amazing. And he's been away too long. He's uh, wasting his time in TNA, and he definitely needs to be on the WWE main roster soon. All right, let's get into number three. Glorious. I better not get copywritten for that, that one second clip of the song, but Guys, Bobby Roode, did you guys see his entrance in NXT? He descended from, not the rafters, but he was on this tall platform. That entrance made him a star instantly. And imagine that at WrestleMania. Imagine Bobby Roode being sung in by that chorus, glorious. I will defend, I will defend till I'm victorious. Imagine that at WrestleMania. Imagine the spectacle. This guy has been in TNA for a while and he's always been one of the best workers. He's been one of the, you know, the better heels in TNA. I think they picked out the perfect gimmick for him, the glorious gimmick, which a lot of people are already, you know, creating as a meme and, you know, doing these glorious bombs all over social media. This guy is an instant star in like a two minute entrance as opposed to his whole career in TNA. And it's just, it's amazing. And I think this guy definitely should bypass NXT. He shouldn't even be in NXT right now. They should have brought him right to the main roster. Imagine the feuds that this guy could have. I mean, Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar, Kevin Owens, a Kevin Owens, Bobby Roode uh, rivalry. It could be awesome. And this guy, <laughs> his cockiness and his persona, he kind of reminds me of a, like a Ric Flair and a Triple H and I don't know, Mr. Perfect, he has all that wrapped up into one package. But Bobby Roode, Mr. Glorious himself, needs to be on the main roster like yesterday, right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get into number two. Coming in at number two is da -da 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 Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle needs, it's time Kurt Angle, okay? It's time, stop fooling around <laughs> everywhere else. You need to come back to the WWE, whether it's a part, it, it's most likely gonna be a part-time job. And you know, you can kind of bring him in and that's why he's number two and not number one. If he was gonna come back full-time, he would probably be my number one uh, you know, wrestler that needs to be brought up to the main roster. But because he'll be part-time, he's number two. And if you wanna bring him back as like a manager for American Alpha, and then you want him to like try to steal the show from them and then start feuding with them, that would be awesome. Or you just have him come in and um, be, you know, replace one of the general managers right now. You could have him uh, take Shane's spot and then him, you have a Kurt Angle and you have a Daniel Bryan co, co uh, general managers of SmackDown. And you guys, I don't think Daniel Bryan's done. After that blow up with The Miz where he's like, I wanna wrestle, but they won't let me anymore, right? I think Daniel Bryan has one more match in him. And imagine a Daniel Bryan, Kurt Angle match. That would be amazing. But anyway, uh, Kurt Angle, where you at, man? It's time to come back. <laughs> We're all awaiting that huge pop, you know, that huge USA pop, and it's, it's gonna happen. So I can't wait for that. Kurt Angle, definitely my number two. And let's drum roll, please. Get into number, the number one guy that needs to be brought to the WWE main roster right now. Delete, 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 delete. <laughs> Brother Nero, Matt Hardy. Okay, so let me go ahead and get into this. Matt Hardy has totally reinvented himself in TNA. He is what's drawing ratings for TNA solely based on this broken Matt Hardy character that he created. And it would be so awesome to see Matt Hardy feud with the likes of anybody. I mean, you put this guy with anybody, it would be super interesting. But Bray Wyatt and, and Matt Hardy going toe to toe with their philosophies and just craziness and zaniness, man, talk about interesting TV. Matt Hardy definitely deserves to be in WWE. 
I think it would pop ratings. I think he would have a ton of great feuds. It would be high quality entertainment. And we all know the Hardys are coming back to the WWE eventually. Me putting Matt above Jeff on this countdown says a lot. I mean, Matt has totally reinvented himself, like I said, and he has, you know, he just sparked the interest of a lot of wrestling fans out there. And when WWE decides to bring the Hardys back, I hope they don't do what they did with the, um, the Dudley boys. I don't want to see them come back as the Hardys get jobbed out to everybody. I want broken Matt in the WWE. And I want Jeff Hardy, you know, solo Jeff Hardy in the WWE. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys thought of the countdown. Let me know um, a couple people who you think would have been great on the roster right now that I might have missed out on. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like or that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be putting out videos more often. So um, yeah, until next time, I'm TC and see you later, stupid idiots.